Hey friends, Ryan here and welcome back to the next episode of building this giant pinball machine. So we got everything ready. So what we're going to do today is go through and test everything except for the sound and the TVs. Yes. And make sure we got them wired up right, all the buttons work, and hopefully not blow anything up. You never know, but we'll see. Anyway, so I got the three power supplies plugged into that thing. And now I gotta find a friggin' plug. I didn't think about that. So we'll plug it in. The fans should turn on, these ones. And the ones back there, and the one in the back box. But I have everything disconnected from the pinscape. This and this power the pinscape, and they are disconnected. So. Nothing that's going to the actual board right now. So once we figure out it all works, we'll plug it in, plug it into the computer, and hope we don't have to buy a new one. All right, let's do this. All right, so far so good. Nothing exploded. There was wires in those two fans. That one didn't even run until I moved it. That one cranked. But this one is blown in. Those two are blown out. And the one in the back box is blown out like we want it to. So next, we'll go through and test some of this stuff. Figure out what I'm doing, and then I'll show you. All right, this is probably not the best way to do this, but it's a technique pioneered by Major Frenchie here. Let's see if we can get you down here. get to put in there. So there's that. That's good. Let's see what this one does. That's a knocker, obviously. So far we're doing good. Let's see, those are all power. A fan, the other fan, Our beacons, I don't know what that one is, it's not working though, or it's a light, so we'll figure that out here, anyway, keep rolling, test all these fancy things, now let's try some contactors, where do we get those? Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. All right, Let's keep going here. Suffice it to say, everything worked. Um, I did label my contactors. This is the power input number, because I Honestly, didn't label them. I thought this would be one, but one's back there. I didn't test the buttons yet. I tested the button lights. They work. Uh, actually, I did not test the RGB buttons, so I need to do that. Make sure they're all working. And then I need to t test the actual push button for all these. So let's get that rolling. I can't get anything done because my little helper here won't leave me alone. Yeah, you trying to help by tripping me, making me fall, being in the way, being all friendly and attention eating. And then when I stop, you're gonna go away. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, we tested everything we could, all the buttons work. I plugged in the pinscape here. The lights come on and there's no smoke. So that looks good. I found a USB cord that I bought, which is good because I told us right, you gotta hook this up something. So it goes back there. Uh, the only problem is when I turn the 
amps on. They get this <laughs> from the speakers and the exciters, and even the subwoofer pops a little bit. And there's no nothing connected to them except the cord, so it might need a ground loop thing or something. I don't know. The tilt bob has a pretty high resistance, so I don't know what that is. It's making contact and everything. It's just like three or four ohms versus like less than one for everything else. It's more or less a dead short, but it all works, which is absolutely amazing. Nothing didn't work. The only thing that I forgot to test was the under cab lighting for some reason, which I'm not sure why that wasn't in the deals, but it'll hopefully work if everything else does, but we'll, we'll fix that when we plug it into the computer because I've already put everything up to where it's ready to plug in. So I just got to fish all those cords out the hole there, dig out this computer that's been sitting in that pile of crap there for almost a year now and plug it in, install Dofflinks, and then they got the baller installer now. So hopefully it won't take but a couple hours and we'll be rolling. That is after the, the computer spends like three days updating Windows because that's how it does it now. Anyway, let me know what you think. Keep it real. We're getting there. It's pretty exciting. Oh, and if, like I said, I ordered the glass today and it should be here today's, what day is it? April 1st. He said to be here by Monday. It's Thursday now, so Ooh, we're close. Thanks for sticking with me. Friends, right out here, and today we're working on this pinball machine again. So I got my computer out. It's been sitting here for three hours. It's been updating, and as you can see, well, you probably can't see it. It is trying to update again. So that's that. Anyway, we've been hooking up this Pinscape tool here. It's pretty simple if you follow this guide that he gives with it. So I've inputted everything and everything works. We'll go through some money shots here. Uh, turn the flasher on. It's that one. Yay! So scroll down. I mean, more flashers strobes now I can't see anything that's fun contactors you know probably can't tell where they are but I can all the contactors the gear motor shaker I can't turn it up too high or my shit's gonna fall down um, and the undercab, I think I mentioned before, and forgot to test, but it works. All right, and then the launch, all these ball lights work. Start, so forth. Uh, let's see what else we got. Beacons. That's fancy. Noxious fans. You have to have two because they're kind of powerful. They need different switches. Okay, these are the buttons. For those. What else we got? We got our bell. Yeah, that chime kit is needs a or needs a chime kit rather. Anyway, uh, they're all working. First freaking try. Go up here with our buttons. A mute button has got some issues. Actually, that one may need some work. wrong anyway see there's that I'm not sure I got the coin in and the extra ball 
thing. I might need another button for that. All the flippers work. So right now I only got that, obviously, because I didn't want to be trying to mess with looking at it like this when I'm trying to program. So, let's see if we can fix that issue, because I can see the volume down here jumping around. Let's see. Rotary button is 18. We got this is mute. No, oh, see so this should be 18. Don't mess that up. Volume up should be 20. Volume down should be 19. All right, and then program. Yes, yes. Okay, there it stopped. Okay, so let's see if the volume works now. I may have to set something up there. Um, anyway, I'll mess around with it a little bit. We'll get it figured out. If all this fails, I can read the damn instructions like a normal person. Anyway, let's keep rolling and see what else we can get into. All right, here we are in the flipper setting. Did the calibrate. Looks good. I don't know what's wrong with that button. I'm gonna, I don't know. I think the rotary's bad. I emailed the guy. We'll see what he says. Um, okay. We did all those. I guess we'll update the firmware and start my damn computer. So we quit ask. Quit asking me here. Anyway, keep working. All right. We've entered all our stuff into our DOF config tool. And combine a couple toys for chimes and bells. And now we're gonna, and we've downloaded that and put it in our direct output thing here. So now we're gonna try the baller installer, I guess. No, wait, first we need to hook up all the TVs and arrange the monitors, and then we'll try the baller installer. All right, making progress, kind of. So I got the play field, the back class, and the topper to work. Unfortunately, I cannot get the DMB to work at all. I am pretty sure that the LCD driver thing is bad. I have another, actually I have two more, and they both work when I plug it in, and it's getting power. But they're not the right ones to connect to this particular deal, unfortunately. So anyway, I got this set up as a DMD right now, and we'll fix it later, I guess. But I do have speakers. Set up. Doesn't work. Working correctly, so go from there. How it tells you you could lose.
song you like. Right? Fuck you and drunk. Buddies, bye, buddy. What do you think? Okay, you're gonna make a huge mess, Mr. Bud. Can I help? Awesome that we finally got it working. So, we got some doff debugging to do. There's just a couple things that are a little messed up. Um, then we got to figure out the addressable LEDs and then we'll do some more gameplay on some more advanced games that activate everything and go from there. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Keep it real. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Later.